Well, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us once again for another home uh, home viewing video. This time we're looking at two houses in the one video, and they're both in the uh, La Valle uh, residence complex. So one of them, the first one we're going to see is the display home. Now that display home currently is not for sale. Then we're going to see another home that is about 98% complete and that's the same design as the display home and it's empty it's kind of ready it, and it is available for sale now this is a really big complex in Hinlek Phi in Hua Hin uh, we're actually in the center of the complex now heading down to the new area where we're going to have a look at these houses so it's a brand new part of the development. So there's there's another one there, a Vela Lavana. So quite often there's uh, homes available for sale in these other villages that are a part of the entire complex, but we're going down to La Vela Residence uh, this time. So the security guard on each of the uh, uh, village re uh, village entries, 24 hours a day. So here we go here, the Vela residence, where these two homes are located. Now the designs are, as you can quite clearly see that designs are all pretty much the same now that might not be your thing but uh, anyway it is what it is so all the same color scheme and everything like that you see some funny things in Thailand sometimes so this is the display home right not actually available available for sale right now but it will eventually become available so they've just got it um, uh, set out with furniture and so on as they always do display homes little tiny kitchen it's a funny thing because some of these uh, villas here that are for sale have no kitchen whatsoever the one we're going to have a look at after the display home does have a kitchen but it's quite an interesting type of layout So they're four bedrooms and four bathrooms. Look, the standard of finish is pretty good. The quality of the, of the building, uh, the workmanship is quite good. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with it we could see. Staircase is well built, the railings are fine. Plank flooring, which is a uh, little bit unusual for Thailand. Usually it's uh, ceramic tiles or tiles of some type, but this is the uh, click flooring. So this particular display home has got uh, ceiling air conditioning. Just bear in mind this one you're looking at right now is a display home, not currently up for sale. You 
you'll get a better idea of things when we move to the next home that's unfurnished and is available for sale. So as you can see, you can set these things up quite nicely. They're not huge homes, um, around I think uh, the 170 square metres of living space, approximately. There are some smaller ones, that are, that's two bedroom, there's uh, three bedroom and I think there may be some one bedroom places. But they get, those smaller ones, they get snapped up pretty fast. And most of the homes here in this complex are sold. There are still some left, but most of them are sold. It's generally the way they go pretty fast. Down in the living, uh, the living room now, lounge room. That's the view of some of the uh, your neighbours, the neighbours' houses. You can see it's quite nice. The complex is quite nice. Very new. All right, now we're heading round to uh, the second home that actually is for sale. And this home is empty, there's no furniture in it. And I'll talk to you uh, in more detail as we go along with this one because there's some quite interesting things to remember here or to take into account. So this one has got an asking price of uh, about five million, five million baht. Some views of the outside of it. Again, almost identical to the display home. Okay, so this is the main living room now. This area here is actually the kitchen and as you can see it's got uh, glass walls all the way around it so it's an enclosed kitchen. The idea of that is to keep the heat from the kitchen uh, out of the main part of the house. Now, you know, that's a personal choice thing there. I, we haven't seen this before in any home that we've looked at in Thailand. Uh, there, that door there leads to the outside where you would normally have a Thai kitchen on the outside or uh, like outdoor cooking area. So this is the bathroom downstairs. This is not an ensuite. There's four bathrooms 
and four bedrooms in this place but this particular bathroom is not an ensuite it's just uh, for use uh, in the main part of the house there is a bedroom adjacent to it but not as an ensuite okay so there's a couple of here we go with a couple of things you need to remember with this house we're looking at right now now it for the price that you're paying five million baht in this case you don't get any hot water right there's no hot water service there at all so you would have to put that in uh, I'm sure most Westerners want hot water in the house but you don't get that for the five million there is no air conditioning there are no curtains on the windows or no blinds there's no mosquito screens there's no ceiling fans so I touched on earlier and as you can see just out the back there there's no outdoor cooking facilities there are no wardrobes that is there are no built-in wardrobes in the place so if you buy this place and you pay the five million for it you're going to be up for around about between one and two million to furnish it and to put things like wardrobes in you won't be able to put built-in wardrobes they have to be standalone uh, or cupboards and all those things I mentioned like you've got to get hot water into the shower so you would have to you could install a uh, outdoor hot water system but whether you'd be able to get the plumbing through to the uh, to the sinks and basins is another thing so what most people would do is put an in shower water heater so you'd only have hot water in the showers so in Thailand to set this place up to make it livable you'd be looking at anywhere between one and two million baht now of course there's going to be some people who'll be able to set it up for 500,000 baht or even less right but that's just a rule of thumb especially if you're a foreign buyer you want to set it up uh, with curtains and ceiling fans most likely as well as air conditioning so you're looking between one and two million baht now if you want to get the best uh, uh, fittings imported from Italy or somewhere well it's going to be a lot more obviously so at least the aluminium windows are in <laughs> that's a good thing So you can see the uh, styling colouring is about the same. So there's, there's a bathroom here and there's, you, you put a, a, a shower heater, shower water heater in there. But you'd still have cold water in the sink. Now that doesn't worry Thai people. This is a main bedroom here. with an ensuite same style and decoration but this one's got a shower screen up and a little balcony out the front there from the main bedroom Bit of a view there of the other houses around. Now there is also a communal pool just outside the front. We'll get some footage of that in a minute. So it's only a very short walk from this particular house. There's a vacant block of land next door. I don't know if the developer owns that block of land or who in fact owns it, but they've put this uh, tin uh, divider up there on all the houses on this side of the street the neighbor on the right side there has put some awnings around the house which you can do 
There's nothing stopping you from doing that. You can have a pet here. No problem with that. You can add solar panels if you want to. There's no restrictions on anything like that. So just down the side of the house there. It wouldn't cost you too much to get a gardener to come in and do this. If you didn't feel like doing it yourself, because it's hellishly hot doing gardening work, believe me, in Thailand. So a gardener probably sets you back 2,000 baht a month. They'll come twice a week something something like that it just depends if they've got to, if they've got to use a lawnmower which they do in that place so that house there has been sold and someone living in there and this here now is the communal pool that's the number of the house that we looked at this is the one that we've just seen the one without any furniture in it water tank at the back with a water pump some views of the house there from the outside okay so here's the communal communal swimming pool and there's a kids play area too like a little park there really really nice it's only a small pool though potentially be a lot of people living here but it's still nice you can still come down here Now the common fee in this place is around 20,000 baht per year. To the best of my knowledge I have asked there's no other annual fees just that uh, common fee of about 20,000 baht a year. Now that'll, that varies depending on the size of the land the house is on but that particular one is roughly 20,000 baht a year. Well, okay everyone, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. This is what a new, brand new home looks like in Thailand in a bigger state. So go to their website if you need any information. I'll put the link in the description. Catch you next time.